accounting values within cases in SPSS in a questionnaire or a survey that is based on a Likert scale. Here in this SPSS data view, I had inserted a data taken from responses of individual participating in a questionnaire that have 30 questions or items to give an opinion on and I had selected 30 participant responses in this data. The participant were had five possible responses to specific question or item to select from based on the five point Likert scale from five to one. Five indicates that a strongly agreeing response. Four agreeing response, three neutral, two disagree and one represent strongly disagreeing. So the responses of each participant for each item or question were inserted in the data as a number from one to five and to count the value or values within each case or cases for this questionnaire we're going to use the command count values within cases. So if we want to find out how many participants had responded by showing agreement, either strongly agreeing or agreeing to the items or the question i.e. we need to count, find a way to count the value of 4 and 5. So thus combining 4 and 5 to find out the number of participants who gave a response as agreeing and strongly agreeing when giving an opinion for an item or a question. The way to do that in SPSS is to click on transform and then scroll to count values within cases a new window will appear and in that window I'm going to generate a target variable call it agree. So I'm going to count all the responses from participant who had expressed their agreement or agreeing or strongly agreeing with the question or the item addressed to them. So in the target variable, I'm going to type agree and then I'm going to select all the variables and transfer them into the box of variables and the way to do that is click on control a click on control a and then deselect the id transfer the variable into the numeric variables and in the icon label define variable define values click on it a window will appear for counting values within cases and in this window I'm going to select the range as I'm going to count the value of 4 and 5 
that has been selected by the participant for every individual items so I'm going to put the range from four to five and I'm going to press on add and then click on continue and then click on OK and you target variable is generated and it is labeled agree and I'm going to do some editing by clicking in clicking on the variable view reducing the decimal into zero and reducing the column width into six and making the data or the scores within the uh, variable in the center so the software has calculated and counted the number and the times value four and five has been selected by participant and for item number one 19 participant out of 30 were agreeing with question or item number one and for item number 30 16 participants were agreeing with the item 30 uh, or question 30 so this is the way to count the value within cases we could also repeat the same but instead of counting the responses of agreeing and strongly agreeing we could count also the disagreeing of responses and the way to do that is click on transform select the count value within cases and then i'm going to change the target into this agree and keep the selection of all variables and then click on the define values and in the define values i'm going to select the range i'm going first to remove the uh, values to count and then i'm going to select a range from one to two as one indicates the uh, response the response of strongly disagreeing and two response of disagreeing and then click on add to add them into value to count then click on continue then click on ok and new target variable will be generated i'm going to do a little bit of editing by reducing the decimals reducing the column width into six and in keeping the values or the scores in the center of the target variable as we can see here three participants were disagreeing with the, and their response was disagreeing for item number one for item number two or question number two 12 participants disagreed and they gave a response of disagreeing and the same thing for item number 30 as seven participants showed disagreement with the item when they gave an opinion for the item or the question number 30. so we have counted the value for agreeing and disagreeing we could also count the value within cases for neutral responses from participants those who were not disagreeing or agreeing again the way to do that to click on transform click on count values with within cases and then I'm going to generate a, a new target a variable call it neutral and we are going to keep the same selection of numeric variables and then in the define values click on the define values remove the values to count 
and then in the window here I'm going to select the value 3 for neutral and I'm going to add that into values to count and then press on continue and then OK again a third target variable is generated click on variable view made some editing by reducing the decimal to zero column width to six and making the value or the scores within the center again these variables or data generated calculated counted the value for three in each case or the responses for each item so for item number one or question number one eight participants they responded by selecting a neutral and for item two nine participants were neutral and for item 37 participants were neutral we could also do more calculation on the count and transfer this count into percentage i.e. calculating the percentage of the participant who had responded to each item or question whether agreeing or disagreeing or neutral and the way to do that is to click on transform use the uh, command or a function of compute variable and in the compute variable I'm going to generate a target variable call it agree percent as I'm going to calculate the percentage of uh, the participant who responded by selecting the options of agreeing and uh, to do that is to type label the target and then select the data for agree drag it into the numeric expression and then going to divide that by 30 as we have only 30 participants using this symbol for division divided by 30 and then multiplied by 100 a new target variable is generated I'm going to do a few editing uh, making this seven and then make it into the center and as we can see a new variable is generated which shows the percentage of the participant who show agreement with the question or the item for item number one 63 percent of the participant were agreeing for item number two only 30 percent of participants agreed and for the item or question number 30 only 53 percent of the participant responded by agreeing again we could do the same thing for the other values the other variables for disagreeing convert the count into percentage by compute reset that and then generate a new target call it disagree percent and then select the disagree variable drag it into the numeric expression divide that by 30 multiply that by 100 click on ok a, a, a second target is generated for disagreement percentage do a few editing on that reduce the decimal point into zero 
reduce the width into of the column into seven and make the data or the values within the variables centered again this shows that 10 percent of the participants were disagreeing with item number one and 23 percent of participants were disagreeing with the question number 30 could go ahead again and do the percentage for the neutral click on compute variable reset the window here and then i'm going to call that a neutral new generate a new target variable call it neutral percentage and then i'm going to select the neutral um select the neutral variable divide that by 30 and multiply that by 100 and click on ok uh, another target variable is generated i'm going to do some editing reducing the decimal point to zero reducing the width of the column to seven and making the data centered and thus it is possible now to um, work out the um, percentage for each individual responses as we had divided the responses into agreeing agreeing disagreeing or neutral and then calculating the percentage and for the agreeing disagreeing and neutral and for neutral percentage we can see that the first item or first case or first question 27 percent of participants were neutral so this is the way to count values within cases in SPSS for data taken from a questionnaire that have five point Likert scale and then converting these counts into percentage to find out the percentage of responses toward specific question or toward giving an opinion on a specific statement